Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a little bit of a little bit of introduction and some definitions and some properties of polynomials, which is what we're studying in chapter 5. So, um, I guess first things first, um, what is a polynomial? And really the true definition, poly means many, just like in polygamy perhaps, or polytheism, or poly, I mean there are a lot of things it can mean, but poly means many. Nomial really refers to terms, so we're talking about many terms, but really in your Algebra 2 textbook and in any Algebra 2 textbook, whenever they name the chapter polynomials, they just mean we're going to work with equations that have x raised to the third power or the fourth power or the fifth power or the seventeenth power or something higher than squared. Um, but, so that's what we're going to focus on in this chapter. Um, here are some examples of polynomials. You'll notice that some of them don't even have x's, like the top example. Um, the second one, 5x minus 7, looks like mx plus p. That's a line. Uh, you have x squared, x cubed, x to the fourth, in any rate, shape, or form, you, you just have, you have stuff with x in it, right? So that's what we're going to work with, uh, and in this chapter, we're probably going to focus on those last two lines. How do we kind of solve those problems when we get x cubed, x to the fourth, that kind of thing? We have what's called standard form, and the standard form of a polynomial means that whenever we write this polynomial, we're going to write it in decreasing powers of x. And so what you see here, the problem is, is that the x cubed and the x to the fourth aren't in order. See, the x to the fourth really should be written first because it's a higher power. So if I was going to write that equation in standard form, that function in standard form, it would be 2x to the fourth minus 3x cubed minus x plus 2. Now I have it in decreasing powers, x to the fourth, then x cubed, then I have x to the first power, and then no x at all at the end. Coefficients, when we use the word coefficients, we're simply talking about the numeric values that are in front of each x. So in this case, we have the 2, the negative 3, the negative 1, and the, the, the 2 isn't in front of anything, so it's not really a coefficient per se. But we, we want to know how many x to the fourths do we have, how many x cubes do we have, so on and so forth. And notice what I did there. See, this didn't have anything in front of the x. It's a negative value, so we say you have negative 1 x's. It's assumed it's a 1 if it's not written. The leading coefficient, after we write it in standard form, that means after we put the highest power of x first, the leading coefficient is the number that you have multiplied by that x to the highest power. So in this case, that would be the 2. The leading coefficient would be 2. Identifying that is going to be kind of important later on because it's going to help us, uh, it's going to help us do stuff. And remember, the whole point of this is to solve for x. And so that's going to help us solve for x later on, believe it or not. Um, the degree of the polynomial means what is the highest power of x. So if I look at this one here, the highest power of x would be the fourth power. So this is a fourth degree polynomial, we might say. And so what that means is we can assign it a name. And so typically what you'll see is if we have x to the second power, we call it quadratic. x to the first power is a linear equation. It looks like a line. Quadratics, we've been doing a lot with those lately, haven't we? x cubed cubic equation, and x to the fourth is a quartic equation. There are numbers for the higher powers, x to the fifth, x to the sixth, so on and so forth, but you know, we're just not going to go that high in this class in Algebra 2. We'll save that for pre-calculus for you pretty smart kids, okay? Um, but just keep that in mind because they might say, hey, we want a cubic equation, or here's a quartic equation, and really all they're doing is saying it's a x cubed or x to the fourth is going to show up in there somewhere, okay? And then the last thing, um, a constant. At the end, the constant is a value at the end of the function that has no x. And what we really mean by constant means it doesn't change. And if it doesn't change, that means there's no variable, because variable means, by definition, variable means change. So really, it's just that thing that doesn't have an x that's off at the end. And once again, it's just going to help us solve for x later on. So that was just a bunch of definitions and some properties and some things to talk about. Um, hopefully, you wrote all those down in your notes. And uh, we'll go on in our next video with how to solve or evaluate, excuse me, how to evaluate a polynomial by hand.